Welcome back to another Destiny 2 Lightfall God Roll Guide, everybody. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the weapons that drops from the new raid, Root of Nightmares. The reason we're talking about this weapon today is because it is one of the most rare weapons when it comes to perk combinations. As far as I know, the perk combination that I'm going to be highlighting today, this is the only weapon in the entire game out of hundreds of weapons that can roll this perk combination. This weapon is going to take your Void builds in particular to the next level. Void builds are already very very good in end game activities when it comes to getting over shields and health regen adding this to your build is going to take it over the top and hopefully by the end of this video i'm going to convince you to get those booty cheeks in the raid so you can either craft this weapon or just get it to drop naturally so guardians let's get into this so the weapon we're talking about here today is the nessa's ablation slug shotgun like i said earlier the only way to get this is to actually do the new raid root of nightmares now if you guys don't raid a lot don't worry Root of Nightmares is very kind to beginners. It's one of the easiest raids in the game and one of the most rewarding. So hit up your buddies to do this raid. If you don't have any friends, don't worry. You're not alone. We got LFG. People are always jumping into the Root of Nightmares, so it shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on this. And specifically, the Slug Shotgun has a chance to drop from the first, the third, and the fourth encounter in this raid. So you have quite a bit of chances to get this to drop. The Nessa's Ablation is a legendary energy shotgun doing void damage. It's a pinpoint slug frame, fires a single slug round. This weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. And when it comes to the base stats, this thing comes stacked. As you can see in this image right here, we have some other slug shotguns, the Bone Chiller, First In, Last Out, Gnora's Axe. As you can see, overall, most of the stats are better on the Nessus Ablation, aside from the Gnora's Axe. The Gnora's Axe actually outclasses it in range and stability. But to be honest with you guys, Nessus Ablation isn't a PvP shotgun in my opinion. Opinion. So having the highest range and stability doesn't really matter in PvE. In PvP, for sure, that really does matter. But in PvE, you can 100% get away with not maxing out the range. Now for the barrels and magazines, if you guys did want to take this into PvP, I would suggest Hammer Forge to increase the range by 10. You also have Full Bore, which is going to increase the range, but it's going to hurt your stability a little bit. You got Extended Barrels, going to increase the range by 10, but it's going to hurt your handling. So out of those three, if you want a range booster, I would say go with Hammer Forge. But if you get Full Bore or Extended Barrel, those are still good options. Now in PvE, since range doesn't matter too much, I would say go with something like Fluted Barrel to increase the handling. Handling is going to allow you to whip this weapon out and put it away a little bit faster, which could really save your life in pve activities fluted barrel gives you a plus five to stability and a 15 bump in your handling and when it comes to the magazine perks range is king for pvp so we got accurized rounds that's going to increase your range by 10 and another good option for the crucible is actually assault mag this is actually going to increase the rate of fire after you get a kill it's going to bump up your rounds per minute by five so it's going to help you shoot this a little bit faster which comes in clutch in the crucible but if we're talking about pve you're definitely going to need a magazine that ups the ammo capacity something like extended mag appended mag or tactical mag these are all going to give you a larger magazine size a larger magazine in pve is always what you want to go with tactical mag is going to add one bullet to your magazine give you a plus five to stability and plus 10 to reload appended mag is just going to give you one more shot in the magazine and extended mag is going to give you one more shot in the magazine and give you a plus 10 to airborne effectiveness, but it's gonna reduce your reload speed by negative 20. So I would say go with tactical mag for your first option. Second place goes to appended mag and extended mag gets third place in my opinion. Now we get to the bread and butter of this weapon, the trait perks in the first column. You've got compulsive reloader, envious assassin, dragonfly, repulsor brace, reconstruction, demolitionist, and fourth time's a charm. In this first column, there aren't any perks that increase accuracy. So sorry, PVP players, you're gonna have to go with some PVE perks in this first column. The only option that I would really want in the crucible is maybe demolitionist to help synergize with those grenade builds. Demolitionist is gonna give you a chunk of grenade energy back and every time you throw a grenade it's going to automatically reload this weapon which isn't too bad and then all the other perks in this column are pretty much mainly for pve envious assassin is basically a hybrid between overflow and auto loading holster dragonfly is cool but it's a lot better on primary weapons not on special weapons you've got reconstruction this weapon slowly reloads itself over time up to double the ammo capacity which
which could be really good for DPS situations. And then you've got fourth time's a charm, rapidly land in precision hit, will return two rounds to the magazine. Very, very good if you're going to use this for a DPS option on bosses with a really big crit spots. But in my opinion, the number one pick in this column is going to be Repulsor Brace, a top tier perk for PvE, especially when you're using a void build. And even when you're not using a void build, this is going to give you an overshield. It states that on a weapon kill against an enemy affected by a void debuff, grants a 45 HP void overshield for 8 seconds. S tier perk for PvE. And don't forget Guardians, since this weapon is craftable, you can get the enhanced version of Repulsor Brace. The enhanced version is going to improve the duration of the overshield, which is pretty nice. Now moving on to the last column of trait perks, you've got Frenzy, Harmony, a new perk that only drops on the raid weapons, Paracausal Affinity, got Opening Shot, destabilizing rounds, Vorpal Weapon, and Focus Fury. Frenzy is going to give you a 15% increase in damage, and it's going to give you better handling and reload speed, and all you have to do is be taking damage or dealing damage for 12 seconds. Harmony is going to give you a 20% increase in damage after you get a kill with another weapon. Super easy to proc. The new perk Paracausal Affinity states that upon getting a kill from any source matching the alignment, light, or darkness, of the weapon grants 20% increased damage for 6 seconds. Another very good damage increasing perk that's not too hard to proc. Then we've got opening shot, improved accuracy and range on the opening shot of an attack. Pretty much the only perk you want. If you want to take this into PvP, you need to have opening shot. S tier perk for the crucible. Then we have destabilizing rounds. Final blows cause nearby targets to become volatile. So this is pretty much Bungie's answer to incandescent and volt shot. Destabilizing rounds has quickly become one of my go-to perks on any void weapon that it drops on. I'm always looking for destabilizing rounds on a void weapon when it drops. Very nice to have for ad clear. And the synergy with void builds is S tier. Then we got Vorpal Weapon increases damage against bosses, vehicles, and guardians with their super active. Since this is a special weapon, it gets a 15% increase in damage, which isn't too bad. And then the last perk, Focus Fury, upon scoring 50% of the magazine as precision hits, you get a 20% increase in damage for 11 seconds. That is a very, very long time. Focus Fury would actually synergize very well with fourth times a charm. So Guardians, those are the perks. Those are the stats. Now, in my opinion, the only perk combination that you guys should be going for on this is Repulsor Brace and Destabilizing Rounds. That is the perk combination that you can't get on any other weapon in the game. Normally, Repulsor Brace is in the last column. So you would have to choose between Repulsor Brace or the new perk destabilizing rounds. And the thing that makes this so awesome is that destabilizing rounds, obviously the whole thing about this perk is it spreads volatile to other combatants. Volatile counts as a debuff and Repulsor Brace states that defeating a void debuff target grants you an overshield. So if you guys see where I'm going with this, you guys are always going to have an overshield up with this combination. So very quickly going over a build on your helmet, you're going to want special ammo finder so you don't run out of ammo with your shotgun. You want a void siphon mod on so you can create an orb. You're going to want at least one charged up mod to increase the maximum number of stacks of armor charge you can carry by one. You want a stacks on stacks mod. Picking up an orb of power grants you one additional stack of armor charge. You want a reaper mod after using your class ability. Your next weapon final blow spawns an orb. And then you want a special finisher on. Finishers generate special ammo for the whole fire team. It's going to consume three stacks. So all these mods here are helping us create orbs. And the main reason for that is so we don't run out of ammo with our shotgun. And as you can see in the background gameplay, I just main the slug shotgun, spreading volatile, debuffing all the enemies. The only time I really switch to my primary is when I just need to weaken an enemy so that I can finish them to get more special ammo. Slug shotguns are very powerful in PvE. You can one-shot every single red bar and even some orange and yellow bars. So Guardians, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Follow me over on Twitch if you guys want to participate in the live streams. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.